Hey everybody, I'm back today with Cut To You. I'm gonna be using the crossword background cut file. So I cut the cut file in white and then I offset the cut file so I had a shadow layer and I cut that in this dark green. I'm going to be using the Magical Farce Collection from Cray Paper. This is an older collection, it might even be two years old now. And I don't have a lot of it left, but I pulled out all of my kind of warm fall themed collections from years past and I want to try to use them up before winter hits so I'm going to be using this one. I have definite plans for this page and uh, it does work out a little different than maybe I had thought it would but I thought it'd be really fun to play up those that crossword background and um, fill in some of the blocks with some uh, letter stamps. We'll get that, get to that in a bit. I'm going to start by just adhering the crossword background to the offset layer to give me that lovely kind of shadowed effect. I'm trying to kind of alternate the way I use my cut files for a cut to you. I'd like to start using one cut file a month where I back it and play with it and do all the things to it and then have uh, my second layout be one where I use the cut file a little more simply. I've gotten some comments on my channel about how much you guys like it when I just I use a, back a cut file without kind of backing it or uh, playing with it too much. So I want to try to give you some great ideas for layouts and cut files you can use to just um, cut and go as it were. So creating just a shadow layer behind a cut file is super easy. It's called offset in your silhouette software and it is a great way to add just a little color or a little pop to a background without having to back it with a lot of paper. So I needed to do a bit of planning for this layout. So I want to take advantage of that crossword puzzle grid background. I know what I want it to say. The photo is of my, me and my dog Fitz. He wears clothes and we got him a sweatshirt that says, caution, this dog can't hold his liquor. I think that's what it says, something like that. Anyway. Uh, that's what I want to put into the crossword square. So I have to figure out how the letters can kind of, what's the word like crossword and fit and where they can fit in. So once I did all the math and kind of figured that out, I'm going to grab these small stamps. This stamp set is from Kelly Perky's shop, the paper person shop. I am stamping using icing on the cake ink from Catherine Pooler. And so my main goal for this page is I just want to get my title in the crossword blocks. It is a bit long, but I want to do it. And then I also want to get my photo. And once I have those two things kind of filled in together, then I can go ahead and decide if what else I might want to add with embellishments. But first I want to get the title all stamped out and I want to get my photo on the page. So I did have to squeeze in the last little words to my, um, page today <laughs> my last word but uh we got it all on there and I think I thought it looked really cute and then I had to find a nice spot for my photo <laughs> and I ended up not matting it if you notice I did cut a mat for the photo but I didn't uh didn't actually use it uh mostly because it just didn't fit so now I'm going to go through my embellishments kind of decide which ones I want to use what I want to um, add to my layout. I wanted something with a little more visual weight in that kind of bottom right area that was open. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put down my last adorable little rainbow from this collection. I also added that dark green ribbon more towards the top. So now I can kind of go ahead and add some smaller elements and we kind of have a diagonal design 
that goes around and through the stamped title. So we have that uh, bow at the top and then my photo and then the rainbow. And then I can just add little bits and bobs to those areas. And that gives me my three clusters. They are in a triangle and your eye can follow them from the top left to the bottom right of my page. And also, of course, take in the title in the crossword puzzle background. Then I went ahead and added a second bow, again, just to really emphasize that diagonal design that I'm working with um, and getting my embellishments so that your eye can easily follow and look around this page. I know that I knew going in that no matter how I really embellished uh, the crossword puzzle part, while it's not lost, it kind of becomes a bit of a background element, which I am totally a thousand percent okay with. Um, I have no problem with it kind of being more towards the background. I did add a couple rainbows to kind of reinforce uh, the rainbow at the bottom. Again, this is just a fun photo of my pup, so I wasn't too... I. I didn't need any like dog embellishments. I didn't feel like I needed to go all themey on this. I was okay with it just this way. I'm gonna go ahead and trim off the edge so uh, we have some elements kind of playing on the edge of the page. I love to do that. Give it a quick look to see if it needs anything else or what else I might want to add to the clusters. I can't remember if I add something else or not. I thought maybe I did. I wasn't hundred percent sure though. Maybe I didn't. I don't, I really don't remember. <laughs> nope. I decided that was good enough. Okay. Here are all of your close-ups. Be sure to head over and grab this crossword cut file. It's so unique and so cool. Um, it could be used for anything really. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.